Hi guys, welcome to the software testing help videos. Today we'll be talking about test ng. So what is test ng and how does test ng can make us testing better when we are trying to automate our test cases. So test ng is nothing but a framework that has been designed and it's uh, getting so much popular when we are trying to automate our test cases with Selenium. So we will study that what is a test ng and how can we integrate the test ng with our Selenium test cases. So talking about test ng, what is test ng and installation of test ng with Selenium web driver. So what is a test ng? Test ng is a testing framework that overcomes the limitations of another popular testing framework called JUnit. The ng means next generation. So when we talk about some of the famous testing frameworks then JUnit, NUnit and test ng comes to our mind. So before test ng came into the market, JUnit was very much popular but due to some of the enhancements and the major features that test ng is providing the market of test ng is getting leaded to a much larger extent and ng simply means next generations so by, by just looking at the name we can guess an idea that test ng means a next generation tool that can help us in testing much more better than JUnit. Then there are some other cases that where the, why the test ng is getting much more popular so why do we need test ng in selenium first of all test ng can generate the reports based on our selenium test results it's true because selenium by default does not support any kind of reporting so if you are testing any application and you're writing any test cases then you never know that how many test cases have been passed how many test cases have been failed so it doesn't give you any report that how many test cases has been passed or failed so test ng will help you in making your test case much more manageable and presentable. As we have said that WebDriver has no native mechanism for generating reports. So that is the reason we need test ng. There is no more need for static main methods in our test. So when we talk about test ng, we do not need to write our static main methods like in Java. So we will quickly take an example that what is a test ng and how the test ng can help us in automating our test cases. So this is the official website of test ng, test ng .org. So test ng is a testing framework inspired from JUnit and NUnit but introducing some of the new functionalities that makes it much more powerful and easier to use such as annotations, it is also supporting for data driven testing using some of the annotations like data provider and uh, it is supported by a variety of tools like Eclipse, Maven so we can easily integrate the test ng plugin using the Eclipse as well as Maven and default JDK function for runtime and logging no dependencies so we can directly integrate the test ng as a jar file with the into our selenium project and it is providing lot of annotations that we will see that how can we maintain our test cases using the test ng while testing with selenium so let's uh, first of all create a simple selenium project in eclipse for that we will need to download the selenium web driver first of all from the seleniumhq.org that is the official website of selenium so if we want to work with the Selenium web driver then we need to go to this website and in that you have to download the latest version available here. So from this link you will have to download the latest web driver version. I have already downloaded that and I have saved that in somewhere in my downloads folder. So let's quickly first of all create a new Selenium project. For that you should have a prerequisite Eclipse ID installed in your machine. After opening the Eclipse you simply have to go to the file, go to new, go to Java project because Selenium is nothing but a Java project that we are creating. So you, here you have to provide the project name So this is the sample project that I have created. It's a simple Java project. Now 
you can see that JRE library is getting integrated with that giving the impression that this is a Java project now I want Selenium to be integrated for this project for that I will simply have to right click on this project and I have to go to the build path in the build path I need to go to configure build path because we want to configure the Selenium with this project so we are telling through the build path that from where it has to build the project and from where it has to pick the jar files so from here we are saying add external jar so on clicking that external jar I will need to go to the area where I have stored my selenium downloaded jar files so I need to select all of them that is all the jar files present into the lib folder I will show you again you need to select both the jar files that are available apart from the lib and from the lib folder select all the jar files so by this way we will have all the dependencies of selenium integrated with this project so after that you simply need to click on ok button now you can see that reference libraries has already been stored here now you can see that selenium java all these jar files have been integrated with this project so these are our reference libraries now if we want to write our first selenium test case we simply go to source click new create new class I have already created a new selenium test I will quickly show you that how selenium works now this is our project selenium project it's not a test ng project so here we have written a selenium uh, uh, project and here you can see that there is a main function present here so when we talk about the selenium in selenium when we are working on a core java we need to write the main functions so as soon as I run this project to see the output let's try to run this project now you see that testng website is getting opened so this was our sample test case so once this test case has been executed we will see that we do not know whether the test case has been successfully executed or not because there is no reporting mechanism available in selenium by default so you can see that there are no report that has been generated here that is the reason people are moving to the test ng because test ng is a framework that is available for free it's an open source and you simply need to integrate that with your selenium test case after that whatever the script you write here it will be generated in the form of reports that how many test cases have been passed and how many have been failed so let's try to quickly integrate the test ng with selenium for that you simply have to go to the help you need to do install new software as a plugin in the available software you need to add the path we can get the path from the test ng official website go to the download section simply pick this path can see that test ng is available I simply need to click on that checkbox I need to press next after that it will start calculating the requirement you simply need to click on that and click on next you need to accept the agreements just like you install any other software and then you need to click on finish after that your test ng will be installed as a plugin in your Eclipse
I have already installed this uh, test ng so I'm cancelling it. To check whether the test ng has been successfully integrated or not you need to go to the windows then you have to go to the preferences. In the preferences you will be able to see that there is a section now available in Eclipse called test ng. So this makes sure that test ng has been successfully installed as a plugin in your Eclipse. So after that, once you have downloaded the uh, uh, test ng as a plugin in your Eclipse, you need to add a jar file of test ng in your Java project, just like we added the jar file for Selenium project. For that, you simply need to again right click on this project, go to the build path. In the build path, go to the configure build path, go to the add external jars. Now from here you will have to pick the location where your test ng file is present. So for that I'm going to my desktop where I have my test ng file stored. I'm selecting that test ng. Simply I click on OK. Now in this way I have successfully integrated my test ng with Selenium. So let's quickly try to execute one test case of test ng with Selenium. So for that I have a one sample program. I'm creating a new class separate for executing the test ng test case. So this is a separate class. Okay, I need to change to the annotation. Now if you try to see that there is a slight difference between the program that I have written in test ng. If you go to the selenium program we have written one function go to test ng that is to the selenium that is to the test ng website then we have a main function in Selenium. In main function we are calling this function to execute the required functionality. Now if we go to the test ng, in test ng we have not written any main function, we have simply included one annotation so this special parameter is called an annotation in test ng. So this is one of the one annotation available in test ng at the rate test. So as soon as you write at the rate test, test ng gets an impression that you want to test this whole function. So as soon as you write at the rate test, it will consider as a test function and it will test and it will give you the reports whether this test case has been passed or failed. So as of now you can see that in this section we do not have any kind of reports that the test case has been passed or failed. So when we run this test case in test ng we will see that the report is generated. To run this test case simply go to the run, click run. Now it has done the same functionality that we did in Selenium. Now let's go to the console. Now you can see that it test ng running that is this test case has been run specially with a test ng. This is the kind of information that it has given that total test run were 1 and 0 was the failure and 0 were the skip. So the test case go to test ng has been successfully passed. It has been automatically generated. So you can see that I have not written any special code to give me the information whether this test case has been executed or not. Test ng automatically handles the test cases when you add at the rate test annotation. So if we go to the result section, in the result section it is giving me the information that default test suit, default test, this was my function. So everything has been marked as a green means everything has been successfully passed. So if now I want to see the reports. I simply go to this project 
and I press F5 to refresh this project. Now you can see that this folder has automatically generated when I have executed my test case using testng. So it says test output means I am able to see the reports. So this is the emailable report that is available in testng. If I click on it, it looks something like this. Means it is telling me that this was the test and this has been successfully passed and it, it is in green because it has been successfully passed. So that, that is how your test ng helps you in maintaining the test cases and it gives you a very much clear picture that which test case has been passed and failed. So that was about the introduction about the test ng integration of test ng. Thank you guys for watching this video. For more interesting videos related to testing, keep watching software testing help.